everybody welcome to this week's fall food friday the last fall food friday of 2020 it's sad i know but don't be sad because there are fun things planned for october november and december so make sure you stick around for all of that this year has been the best fall food friday collab of them all i'm so thankful for everybody who participated and everybody who watched it's been great so many great recipes i'm thinking after all of today's videos get added to the playlist there are going to be close to 200 videos on this year's playlist so just like last week i'm going to have week four's playlist separate but the original fall food friday 2020 playlist has all of the weeks piled together and then i have week two three and four separate that way if you want to just pick up on each week's playlist of videos so if you made one for this week just let me know in the comments and if i missed your video somehow i know i did miss a couple i ended up finding the other day i found a couple of comments that i had missed if i missed your comment let me know you made a video for last week just let me know in today's comments and i'll add it to this week's videos that way it'll be on the latest um playlist all right here we go well, let's jump in to this week's fall food friday i made a dinner and dessert. Good afternoon, everybody. It's time to put supper in the slow cooker. I'm having to whisper just a little bit because Manly and Aldra both fell asleep in the living room. So it's their nap time now. I guess this is something they're gonna start doing every evening after school, every afternoon after lunch and school is done. They've been taking naps. <laughs> I'm watching Pumpkin Pie Wars while I get supper in the slow cooker. So this is gonna be a really easy supper. The recipe that I'm making is maple mustard chicken. It sounds really good. I hope that it's really good. It has a strange ingredient though that I actually couldn't find. So I'm subbing something that's pretty much the same thing, but I'm, I'm fixing to show y'all. Let me just get my stuff ready and I will show y'all what it is. There is still a little bit of lunch mess behind me here. The kids all cleaned up all of their own dishes and things, but some things got left out like the mayonnaise and cookie cutters. <laughs> they were wanting to make their sandwiches into little shapes today. All right, I got the slow cooker down, got the chicken ready. Now it is in the slow cooker. I just sprayed it and put the chicken in there. Now we're gonna make the stuff that we're gonna put on top of the chicken. So when I saw the picture of this recipe, it doesn't look like this was cooked on the chicken, but that's what the recipe says to do is to cook the sauce, the maple mustard sauce on the chicken. I think I'm going to mix up some extra to have at the end to spread on the chicken and just to let it get warm because it looks like that's what happened in the picture. You know, when something cooks on the meat for that long, it's not going to look all fresh and pretty, I don't think. We'll see. We'll see how this looks. We need half a cup of maple syrup, so I'm going to pour that in here first. I'm actually going to do just a little more because I'm cooking a little bit more chicken than the recipe, original recipe used. But I'll have all the exact measurements down below for y'all. Now we need a third of a cup of stone ground mustard. I'm gonna open this up real quick. It's a rainy fall day today. It's been raining off and on and it stopped. It's just barely drizzling right now, but we're about to get a lot of rain, I think. Stone ground mustard going in. The next ingredient is the strange one. It's tapioca. And the recipe said to use quick cooking tapioca. I could not find any type of tapioca that you cook. None. Not at Walmart, not at Ingles, nowhere. So I don't know exactly if this is going to work, but we're just going to mix a little bit of tapioca pudding with this. Have these little tapioca pudding cups here. We're going to give this a try. Here we go. We're just going to do about three tablespoons in our amount that we're doing here. Now we're going to mix all this together. Whenever Sissy wakes up, I'm going to see if her and Jonah want to help me make some little mini um, pumpkin pie cupcakes. Usually one of them wants to help when I'm doing any kind of baking or cooking. Jonah's outside fishing at the moment while it's not pouring down rain. Um, I think I'm going to add the rest of this in here. Now we pour this over the chicken. This is gonna cook on low for about three to four hours. Pumpkin pie cupcakes coming at ya. We have 
about, I think this is, it might be a little more than 15 ounces. Let me see that um, bowl. I'm gonna take a little bit of this out. This was from a big can of pumpkin. And yeah, I think that's a little, I think about that is 15 ounces. I'm having to eyeball it. <laughs> When you need to eyeball how much was in a can, just put it in the can shape. You see that? That's how you do that. <laughs> okay. We need three fourths of a cup of sugar, so we're gonna need one of these and one more. Oh, I mean, half of one. Dun, 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 dun. Two fourths of a cup of sugar. Okay. 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 Two fourths we need three-fourths of a cup of evaporated milk. Two-thirds of a cup of all-purpose flour. Two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. All right, Cece, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. There you go. A fourth of a teaspoon of baking soda. Daddy put that in spoon. A fourth of a teaspoon of... <laughs> Daddy does put baking soda in his boots. Why does he do that? So it don't stink. A fourth of a teaspoon of baking powder. I thought people said he couldn't eat this. Jonah took off to look at his fishing stuff, so Cece's gonna stir this up for us now. Okay, let's use these this time. I think they'll be pretty for yeah. the pumpkin pie. The these are pumpkin pie cupcakes. Did you even know what we were making? No. We just put this into the cupcake liners and they bake for 20 minutes. Easy pumpkin pie cupcakes. Alright y'all, the chicken is almost done with it. I'm just going to make some brown rice and I have leftover cornbread and green beans from last night. So that's what we're going to be having with it. I'm going to go ahead and get the rice started now because I believe this is pretty much done and it actually does look like the picture. I didn't think it was going to look like the picture, but it, oh sorry, y'all can't even see it now. <laughs> the pumpkin pie cupcakes are done. After they cool completely, we're going to put them in the refrigerator for just a little bit and then when we get ready for them later we'll take them out and put some whipped cream on top I was about to ask Jonah how he liked the chicken, but he already ate all of his chicken, so I guess he likes it, right? You like it, Cece? What about mine? Everybody likes it. Mr. Manzi loves the green beans. Are they yummy? chicken was so good y'all I was very surprised I mean that putting that tapioca pudding in there I was like I don't know about this but I'm just gonna go for it I'm just gonna go for it it was so good there were no leftovers I came over here when everybody first had their plates and there were a few pieces of chicken left in there by the time everybody finished there was no chicken left over and the pumpkin pie cupcakes what's not to love I had one after lunch today <laughs> Now is the part of the video where we will give shout outs to everybody who participated in last week's Fall Food Friday videos. And if you participated this week, I will be doing shout outs at some point next week to give everybody time to get their videos uploaded and added to the playlist. So probably next Friday, I'll do shout outs for everybody who participated in this last week of Fall Food Friday. Here we go. In week three of Fall Food Friday, we had Vonda C, Kim's Farmhouse Life, the Beach Lady, Debbie Food Prepping, The Browse Bunch, and if I say anybody's name wrong, I'm really sorry about that. I hope I'm saying everybody's names right. The Dickinson Homestead, 
Southern Farm and Kitchen, Southern Country Living, If the Creek Don't Rise, Team B Farm, Heather's Homestyle Living, Tiffany Smedley, Cortland Johnson, Create with Linda, This Mainer Mom, Jerry B, Chaotic Country, Frugal Mama in the Woods, Tequila Christine, Southern Mama Drama, Big Steak on the Grill, Leanne's Life, Home Sweet Homes, Taylor Elmore, Debbie's Kitchen, Vanessa White, The Ordinary Mama, Simply Enjoying Life, Willow Lane, Appalachian American Homestead, Reen's Place, Mama Cat's Home, Melissa's Kitchen Table, Teacher Tennille, Missouri Grown Carolina Home, Mostly Mom Stuff, A Pile of Ashes, Paisley Bradley, Down Under Farm and Forge, Domestic Diva Cooking, Southern Sweet Tooth Family, Catfish Wilson, Jackie TD2 Life, At Home with Lynn Wilson, Brady Browning, Blended with Love and Adventure, Jen Chapin, Budget Bethany, Our Small Town Life, Miss Hill Party of Six, and All Things Elise. All right, y'all, that's gonna be it for today's video. Once again, thank you so much to everybody who participated and everybody who watched the videos. We love y'all and we will see y'all tomorrow. Did you eat all the green beans? <laughs>